I should probably preface this video by saying that I am not good at getting up in the mornings. I am not a morning person at all. So I finally decided to do something about it. In the form of a little cheap and nasty sharp clock. Alarm clock. Now it's not the uh, functional clock radio that I'm used to, but that's okay because, well, the Victrola is over there, so I don't really need this thing to have a radio. This came from the local Walmart. I don't remember what I paid for it. It's been sitting in the box for a while. Well, actually it's been sitting out of the box for a while. I don't have, I also don't seem to have the instruction manual handy. Um, but I have played around with this a little bit, so I think I know how to work it. But, uh, your alarm on and off button. This thing actually does have dual alarm. You have two alarms. You, know, you can set it, like, say you give it maybe two tries to wake you up. So that's kind of nice. Because you can have alarm one, alarm two, or both. And then... You hold down time while you set the clock, the hour and minute, same thing with alarm, and then here's your snooze button. Now of course with the snooze button, that usually means that about 10 minutes later, it's going to start beeping again. So what I have done is turn the alarm off so I won't have to listen to it because it's summer and I don't really need to get up much anyway. But enough of that blathering. Let's take it over here to the uh, bedside table of science over here. Not really. It just consists of a desk fan and a table lamp, some remotes, hand sanitizer that I need to replace, and the Bible. <laughs> so, anyway. Let's go ahead and plug it into the power strip of madness down here that runs the lamp and the fan and my timer or my charger I mean and this cord is polarized so that's why it's not letting me plug it in shut up when you plug it in for the, when you plug it in it does beep I may need two hands to do this this is ridiculous it's never been this hard to plug in there we go Okay, now I got it plugged in. I don't know why it was so hard that time. It usually isn't. Maybe it's because I'm manning the camera with one hand, and I'm not usually doing that when I'm setting this thing up. Lights up in green, which I like because my favorite color is green, so it works out for me. This comes on at 12 o'clock p.m. But, or 12 o'clock a.m. at midnight is where it starts. But... As you can see by looking up at my wall clock over there, or my other desk clock, which you may be able to see. It's actually quarter after nine in the evening. So we're going to go ahead and set it. So we'll hold down our time button. Oops. Whatever. There we go. Go ahead and call it nine. Go ahead and call it nine thirteen. Okay. Go ahead and do it the uh, second one. Go ahead and test the alarm. So we'll set the alarm for nine fourteen. Actually I, think, actually, I think we'll set it for 9.15. There. Just to test the alarm and see what it'll do. It's like I could have gotten away with setting it at 9.14. Oh, well. This thing is interesting. It also has a little, uh, there's your PM light. 
And over here you can see which alarm is engaged, and I believe that if I set this to dual, that both light up, and they do. So, I've got a minute left till it'll start yelling at me. I also don't know what kind of a uh, beep this thing happens to make. I haven't really played around with the alarm yet, so I'm assuming I did it right. <laughs> Just going to go ahead and point that out there. I know the suspense is killing you, isn't it? <laughs> but yes, I definitely could have gotten away with setting it at 9.14. I don't know why I didn't think to do that, but... Whatever. Golly, is this thing ever going to time out? <laughs> taking its time. Oh, there we go. Let's see if it gets more frantic. Oh yeah. Yeah, it gets more frantic. I don't know if that would get me up. That would! <laughs> Oh, now it's blinking, So, because I, I just pressed the snooze button. So I assume that in about 10 minutes it's going to start yelling at me again. <laughs> and if I've forgotten that I just filmed this video in 10 minutes when I get absorbed in a book or something like that, I may become unnecessarily alarmed by that, so I'm just going to turn the alarm off. <laughs> Yeah, that would serve to wake me up in the mornings. <laughs> I was not expecting it to be that loud. Especially since the speaker is really nothing special. By the way, I'm li by the way, I can probably balance this on one hand or on one thumb. Okay, maybe not. I'm gonna try and break it apparently. But it weighs about a pound. Here's some little here's a little blurb on it. See what this thing is and does. Intertech, interesting. Made in China, which is what I would only figure. Does kind of suck, but whatever. This thing also has battery backup, which I think you can be as good as sure I can have batteries in it right now. But it looks like it takes triple A's. Yep. I don't think this thing will let me turn on the light while I'm recording. But, it does have a battery backup in case you lose power. Um, I do not have batteries in it at the moment, but if I wanted to have battery backup, I very well could. There's another little passage under here. Caution, risk of electric shock, do not open. I may have to hack this thing apart and do that. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, there's... It would be interesting to see how this thing's wired in there, but... Whatever. So... That is my solution. There's a little, uh, no, no, there's not a little screen holes. I don't know. One thing I was kind of surprised by is that this thing doesn't even have little rubber feet like I might have expected. I guess for some reason in their infinite wisdom they can't be bothered to put little rubber feet on this thing. More cost cutting on the part of Sharp, but whatever. It'll, it'll serve the intended purpose for how long I don't know, but it'll serve the intended purpose. So that's my little uh, solution to getting up in the mornings. Looks a little bit more rich. It looks a little bit richer green on the camera than it does in person. Doesn't look so neon in person. But just the effect of the lighting. I wonder if turning off this lamp make, might make any difference. No, it still seems more neon than it actually is. 
But yeah, that's that.